Welcome, young explorers. Today, we embark on a journey to discover fascinating animals whose names begin with the letter U. Did you know that the Uakari monkey has a bright red face? Now that's an unusual way to stand out in a crowd. These monkeys with their fiery faces and tiny tails are from the Amazon rainforest where they often hang out in troops of hundreds. Next, meet the Unao, also known as the Southern Two-Toed Sloth. These creatures are the night owls of the South American rainforests, spending most of their time high up in the treetops. Can you guess what the Uakari monkey eats? or how the Unao spends most of its time. And let's not forget about the Uriel, a type of wild sheep that roams the Himalayan mountains. With its massive horns, long white beard, and brown coat, it's like the grand old man of the mountains. Isn't nature fascinating? Let's meet more you animals. Have you ever seen a fish that loves warm waters? That's our friend Ulri's Tetra. This fish hails from Paraguay in South America, where it thrives in the warm rivers and streams. What a life, right? Just swimming around in the warm waters all day. Next, let's fly over to Japan and meet the Ugisu, also known as the Japanese bush warbler. This bird is olive brown above and tends toward dusky colors below. But the best part? It has pale eyebrows and a beak that curves up, making it look like it's always smiling. Can you imagine a bird that's always happy? Why do you think the Uguisu always looks like it's smiling? From the treetops of Japan, we'll now fly to the rainforest, home to the extravagant umbrella bird. This bird is a member of the Cottingidae family, which includes other exotic birds like the Cottingas and bellbirds. But the umbrella bird is unique for its large crest of feathers that can be raised or lowered. When raised, it resembles an umbrella, hence its name. Isn't that a fun way to stay dry in the rainforest showers? Each of these you animals is unique in its own way, from the warmth-loving Ulri's tetra fish to the ever-smiling Uguisu and the umbrella-toting umbrella bird. They remind us of the incredible variety of life on our planet and the many adaptations creatures have made to survive and thrive in their environments. So why do you think the umbrella bird is named so? Is it because it uses its crest as an umbrella? Or perhaps there's another reason you can think of. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer. It's all about using our imagination and learning about the fascinating world of animals. Wow, our planet is full of surprises. Ready for more you creatures? Ever heard of a lizard with a spiky tail? Meet the Euromastix lizard. This fascinating creature comes in a rainbow of colors, including brown, gray, yellow, red, green, and even dark brown. But what really sets it apart is its spiky tail. Imagine having a tail like that. Do you think it's just for show, or could it serve a purpose? Now let's dive into the world of rodents and meet the Yuxayali spiny mouse. This little critter has a head and body length about the size of a teacup, and a tail that's nearly as long as its body. But that's not all. It has a blend of fine hairs and thicker, flattened spines. What role do you think these spines play in the life of a Yukayali spiny mouse? Aren't these you animals incredible? But we're not done yet. What do you get when you mix an octopus and an umbrella? The umbrella octopus, of course. This spell-binding creature dwells in the deep northern and northeastern Pacific Ocean. Its name comes from its unique method of propulsion that resembles an umbrella opening and closing. It's quite the sight. Now let's dive a little deeper to meet the urchin. Sea urchins are fascinating marine animals that live in every ocean, from the warm waters of the Cocos Islands to the cool depths off the coast of Japan. They're known for their spiky exteriors, which act as a shield against predators. Can you imagine how the umbrella octopus gracefully glides through the water? Or how the urchin, with its spiky armor, protects itself from harm? It's a testament to the endless wonders of marine life and the animal kingdom. Now wasn't that a fun journey through the animal kingdom? Which you animal did you find the most interesting? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.